everyone and welcome to For Better Arts. In this video, we're going to give you some tips on how to prepare the student introduction to accompany the New York City High School Art Application Portfolio. The student introduction may be either a 500 word essay or a short video. It's a wonderful opportunity for you to provide some insight about your artistic process and what makes you a great art student. Let's get started. Whether you choose to do the video or the written version, you'll want to start by laying out the three portfolio pieces you plan to discuss in front of you. Grab your self-portrait and pencil, your still life and pencil, and a third piece of your choosing. This third piece should be one you are especially proud of and excited to discuss. Write a few quick notes about each of your pieces. Try to answer these questions. What materials did you use and why? Even though the first two pieces were required to be in pencil, try to think about why pencil works so well for that drawing. Why and how did you choose the subject matter? For the self-portrait, how did you decide on the pose and the expression? For the still life, how did you decide on the objects? What connects them? Why are they important or interesting to you? What is the most exciting thing about this piece for you? Are there any techniques you used that you want to mention? You might want to discuss line weight, negative space, gesture drawing, anatomy, comparative measurement, symmetry, overlapping, shading, color, or layering. Did another artist's work influence you in creating this piece? For example, my fantastical sandwich was inspired by Clement Hurd's illustrations for Goodnight Moon. Remember, even if the pieces were created in response to a portfolio prompt or assignment, discuss them as if they were your own idea, because it's your original work. When talking about each artwork, be clear and concise, but don't be overly technical. They want you to discuss your unique choices, motivation, and influences, so don't be afraid to show a bit of your personality. Once you've put together these ideas for each piece, you can then build them out into a 500 word essay or a short video. We're going to give you some tips for filming the video version. You'll need someone to help you out by being your camera person. We might not need to be that close up. Firstly, choose your location. Generally, you want your video to have a clear and neutral background. Setting up in front of a clear wall can provide a smooth and clean background. If you want to add a little personality, you can neatly tape or pin some of your portfolio artwork behind you on the wall. Second, lighting. Your lighting should be simple and even, not overly bright, or casting strong shadows on you or on the background behind you. That looks much better. Next, framing. As important as lighting and location is how you set up your shot. Make sure your head and shoulders take up about one fourth of the frame, making sure that no edge cuts off the top of your head or the sides of your face. Leave enough room to display your artwork clearly and neatly without cutting you out of the shot. Have your camera person take some test video as you set up. Now we're ready to film. Review your notes and make sure to have the artworks displayed in front of you so that you can smoothly transition between them as you talk about them throughout your video. The video could be no longer than three minutes, so try to allocate about 45 seconds to discussing each of the pieces. Remember to start your video by stating your full name and OSIS number before starting to talk about your first piece. Lastly, recording yourself is always awkward and stressful, so don't worry if you have to take multiple takes. Practice what you want to say beforehand and be ready to do it multiple times. Even this video took multiple takes. I don't want to read this anymore. You've already put in the hard work and created an amazing portfolio. Think of this video or essay as the caption on the museum wall next to a work of art. It's just a little bit of extra info about the artist to help the viewer appreciate the work they're seeing. Good luck!